Hika, hika, hika. Hi, everybody. I hope you're all having a good day. I hope you're all smiling and enjoying your lovely day. In this following tutorial, I'll be showing you on how to extract your model from a VSF avatar. So in very emergency situations where, let's say, a VTuber, they lost everything. They lost their VRM file. They lost their blend file. They lost their FBX. They lost the texture. They lost all of their model files except the VSF avatar. And even when they contact someone or their artist or kitbash or modeler, uh, they, they don't have the files either and all they have left is the VSF avatar and they want to keep that model. This is an emergency method on getting your model back by extracting your model from VSF avatar. Now uh, it's not the best recommended method so for example if you are someone who plans on only extracting the model uh, for like let's say you already have the source file like for example like here I have my source files I have the blend FBX VRM here for instance uh, if you already have at least a VRM file, you do not need to extract from the VSF avatar. You could just use the VRM file and just edit from there. Because what we're doing with the VSF avatar extraction, we're not taking shade... We're not going to, like, revive our shaders or our custom constraints or particles or Poyomi Little Tune. We're not gonna do that. This is only we're only extracting the model to back up the the model itself. We don't care about the other extra stuff. Plus, you can't even uh you can't even bring back the other stuff that you, other custom stuff like shaders or rest rotation constraints and all that. It's just the model that we're extracting. By the way, just want to make sure that is very much clarified. This is only a tutorial used for emergency situations. Now, I also will say this as well. Do not use this tutorial for malicious use. This is very important to say because there are some people who want to protect their model and they simply export the VSF avatar so there's less chances of tampering with the model because there are some people who are not fans of m their models being edited. So please respect the artist rules. If by any chance... Uh, you want to edit the model, just contact the artist for permission or buy like a license from them if they have one. And if they if they tell you no, go for a different model that allows editing. I'm just saying. If I by any chance get reports from other artists saying that there has been people using this tutorial for malicious use of tampering with other people's VSF avatar without permission, I will take down this tutorial so please do not make me do this. I'm only providing this tutorial for those who need to get their mall back for emergency situations, not to be used for malicious use. But again, I can't stop everyone, but I'm just saying if I do get reports, I will take down the tutorial. But I will say myself though right now, I do not hold any accountability at all if someone does use this, tutor this tutorial for malicious use though. I would blame the person that actually abused my tutorial if that's the case. Anyway though, long disclaimer and... Let's go ahead and actually get started. I just want to make sure that's heavily emphasized, uh, just, you know, to cover myself. But anyways, uh, start off by having a Unity project. So, uh, if you by any chance don't know how to do VRM, like how to like set up VRM or VSF after, I'll show you here, but you should at least have Unity installed, specifically Unity 2019.4.31. I should leave in the description below a direct download for this, so make sure you download uh, Unity 2019.4.31, and you can name it wherever you want, and in the description below, I will be leaving downloads for the specific VRM you are going to be using. Do not use the newest VRM. It's broke. Uh, the newest version of VRM, of UniVRM, it's uh, completely broken. Um, I would recommend using 0.89 as that's very stable, at least for VC face. So we're going to be using 0.89 in this tutorial. So go ahead, uh, download that in the description, and you're going to import that into your project file, like so. Give it some time to process and you can import. There should be a window that'll pop up asking you about linear. Just click accept on that and, you know, give your project some time to, you know, do its thing. You just process the freaking uh, UniVRM package. Great, great. And then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to import the VSF SDK here. Uh, there should also be a direct download for that, so just find the VSF SDK Unity package and just click and drag it into the project here, like that, and port away. And then what you're going to do next step is, well, give it a moment actually. 
So the next thing we're going to do, once this freaking thing is done, we're going to make a folder. So it, come on, please finish. Come on. So what we're going to do next is we're going to create a folder. And this is where we're, we're going to put the VSF apps right? Just so it's easier for, for us to follow, just for you to follow along with the tutorial easily. Uh, just going to give this a moment. All right, so now that VSF SDK uh, loaded into my Unity project, now we're going to right click, then click on create, and then click on folder. We're going to name this one extract. And this is where we're going to put in our VSF avatar at. So this folder here, you're going to go to your file explorer. I'm going to go and open up mine here. Yeah, I'm going to open up this one here and just click and drag it, VSF avatar. And it should look like this. Uh, it should be an unopenable file, but we will open it up in just a moment. So what you're going to do now is you're going to right click on the hierarchy and you're going to create an empty. And I'm, you could just name it whatever, but make sure that the position is set to zero, uh, zero and zero. So make sure positions are all set to zero. I'll actually name this VSF extract or yeah, um, I'll just name it VSF extract. And what you're going to do is you're going to add a component. It's going to be called VSF avatar inspector. And then what you're going to do is we're going to right click here. We're going to cl uh, click on show and explore. And then it should pop up this folder here. So click inside that folder extract. And what you're going to do is on this top part of your windows here. This is your file path that you're going to tell the avatar inspector uh, that this is the file path that we want. So control C, copy that path here. Then go to Unity, VSF extract. And then from here, I'm going to go ahead and control V this path here. And then there should be like a, a slash right, uh, there should be a slash here. And then from there, you're going to rename this to your VSF avatar. So in my case, it's kind of Huyuko. So you just make sure you put the file path. And then after the last slash, you have to specify what the VSF avatar's name is. So I'll put kind of Huyuko. There you go. Make sure that is correct. And here you go, VSF avatar. All good. And then once you have that, I'm going to, uh, just in case, I'm going to create right click and create another empty here. And I'm just going to go back to VSF extract here and just click and drag this game object over here. Just, you know, just in case. And once we have that, we're going to then click on, actually, before we do that, uh, we're going to go into window package manager. And then we're going to type in, uh, so give it some time to load. You're going to type in the search bar here once uh, Unity's done freaking loading this thing. So you're going to type in FBX exporter. And you're going to import that. Uh, so for my case, I already have it imported, but I'll quickly... Uh, Actually, no, I don't have to. You just simply just type that out. You'll find it here. There'll be an import button here or a download button. Just click and make sure that it's installed. It'll, you know, it'll let you know that it's installed up to date. So make sure you have that in there. And once you have that, what you're going to then do is you're going to click the play button here. And what it'll do is that it, your model should pop up like this. Although it's going to look kind of messy. This is fine. We can fix this in Blender. But as long as you're able to see your model uh, at least existing, we can fix the other stuff in Blender. But yeah, so you should see this. And what you're going to do is you're going to pretty much uh, select the VSF Avatar clone here, the temporary here. You're going to right click on it and then you're going to click on export to FBX. And then you're going to pretty much choose a file path. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to click uh, to desktop and I'm going to just click on select folder. So this is where I'm going to put my uh, model at. And then I can name the FBX to whatever I want, but I'll leave it as that name. But you can name it wherever you like. Then pretty much you can leave the source and destination as is. You'll have to change the export format to binary because Blender can only accept binary, not this one. Uh, and then 
once you have that, you can embed textures here, uh, just so that way when you import the FBX, you can probably maybe get those textures back. And yeah, that's kind of about it. Um, if needed, you can mess with these other settings depending on what you want to try and revive. But again, keep in mind, you will not be able to get your, let's say, for example, the particles. So I have my snowflakes here are particles. I will not be able to get those. Uh, you won't be able to get your little tune or Poyomi settings. Uh, you really can't. I, I think you could. Let me double check. Uh... Uh, y y you kind of can, not really. So, I, I guess you could probably, like, reference it if you really need to bring it back somewhat. But even then, I would prefer to just remake it anyways. But, either way, uh, we're just mainly concerned about getting the armature and the mesh back. The UVs and other stuff should be intact, though. And all you simply have to do is click on Export here and... Uh, for my case, I already exported this, so I'm going to click on overwrite, but your case, uh, you just let it do its thing pretty much. And this can be a long process though, I will tell you. Depending on how optimized your model is, my model is not opti not that optimized unfortunately. So, for my case, it is going to be pretty uh, a pretty long process, but pretty much you just wait this out and... You know, once this uh, thing, because again, it may take, uh, it could take like 20 minutes or something. Again, depending on how high poly the mall is and the stuff that you added. So, uh, could be 20 minutes, could be longer, maybe less even. Uh, I would just say wait patiently, let your PC run, and you should be good to go. And yeah, again, as I mentioned, mall's gonna look all broken here. But trust me, we will fix it in Blender. But... I'm going to do a time skip so that way uh, you don't have to endure this long process. But for your case, you are going to have to endure it, unfortunately. But this is pretty much how you do extract them all from VSF Avatar, so I'll be right back. Alright, so now the uh, FBX process has just finished, and I can tell because now my model's moving again. So I'll simply just go ahead and press this play button, and the model will disappear. But don't worry, uh, so what's going to happen is I'm going to go ahead and open up Blender real quickly. So Blender should pop up. And then all I have to do once uh, Blender's uh, finished doing its stuff... I'm going to go ahead to file and I'm going to import an FBX. I'm going to go to uh, my desktop and I should have the FBX file right here, VSF Avatar clone thing. And all I have to do is simply import it. And then for my case, I'm going to see a sphere, but I'm going to scroll in with my scroll wheel and there's my model. So look at that. It's right there. Now um, I can go ahead and delete the sphere because I don't need it. So X to delete. By the way, uh, my controls are here if needed. And uh, you notice that your character is probably in a very uh, ridiculous pose. Like, what happened to my legs here? Jesus Christ. So, what I'm going to do to fix this is I'm going to select the armature. I'm going to go into pose mode, go into the top up here, go to pose mode. And then I'm just going to make sure everything's all selected. So, A key. And then I'm going to do Alt R. And then Alt G. And then, just in case, Alt-S. And then, there you go. Your armature should be back to its T-pose. And you can exit out of object mode. I'm going to go ahead real quickly for the outline. Because I have outlines. Uh, I can do the back face cooling. But you don't need to do that. Uh, unless you need to. And, yeah. I do see, again, the outlines are a little fricked on my end. Or, actually, some normal issues. Yeah. Some normal issues I have. Uh, but that's fine. At least, like, hey, the model's alive, though. That's great. And, yeah. That's pretty much, in a nutshell, how you can extract the model from VSF Avatar. Now, again, like I said, it's better to have the source files when possible. Because otherwise, you will probably will still need to do some edits. Like, uh, for example, fixing normals. Or maybe correcting the bones. Because the bones are now a little hecked up than the original file. So... Uh, you'll have to do some manual fixes, which will take time. It's a case-to-case -case basis on the model, so I can't really describe to you how you would fix it, though. It's pretty much just up to you on what issues do you see on the model. And I do recommend uh, Blender forums. There's Blender tutorials that people make, or uh, there's even, like, 
you know, VTuber Discord servers that have some great information on repairing a model and such. So, there are resources out there if you need to repair your model, but at least this is still good to at least get the, the mesh and the armature back, so you should be good to go. Sadly for my case though, the textures did not embed properly though, uh, because of the fact that... Uh, b because it was using like Lil Tune and when it was exporting as SBX, because Lil Tune is a custom Unity specific shader, it does not translate well to Blender's default shader. So do keep that in mind if you were using like a shader other than Standard Shader, for example, it may still it may not be able to embed your textures properly. So do note that. But at least you still have your stuff here. So I will mostly recommend uh, regarding the texture since I did double check and because of the fact that uh, because of the fact I tried I tried seeing if there was a way to extract the textures and unfortunately there is no way so uh, it's either you had the textures backed up thankfully or you will have to remake the textures so do that do keep that in mind but otherwise you at least have your stuff and that's pretty much it for the tutorial though. But I do wish you best of luck on, you know, uh, if, you know, for your case, if you have uh, lost your files and stuff, I do wish you the best of luck and hopefully you are able to get your model files back in tip top shape. But it will be a bit of a journey for you depending on how severe it is. But otherwise though, have a lovely day everyone. Hope this tutorial helps. And again, do not use it for malicious use and see you next time. Bye bye. Thank you to all my Snowflake members. In case you don't know, I have YouTube membership, so if you want to further support this channel and what I do, then feel free to join the Snowflake members. Otherwise though, just your support means so much to me and I appreciate every ounce of it. Either way though, with that being said though, hey, 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 goodbye bye everyone! I hope to see you guys next time, okay? Bye bye!